Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a handbag comparison for you. So if that's something that you're interested in, then keep on watching. Alright you guys, so I have three handbags that are quite similar and that I get a lot of questions about on Instagram. So I wanted to do like an in-depth review of all of the bags and compare them. So I'm talking about my Alma BB and Damir Abim, my Issa Laurent Lou camera bag and my Gucci Marmont Matelesse camera bag. So all of these bags are really similar. So I'm going to share with you sizing, pricing, pros and cons of these bags also what fits inside and which ones I would recommend. So I hope this is really informative for you guys and let's begin with the Alma BB. All right, this is the newest bag out of the bunch. So this is the Alma BB in Jamir Ibn. Also it comes in other prints like the monogram or different types of leather, but this is the Jamir Ibn. Basically the um, sizing is kind of weird because as you can see, it's really, really wide on the bottom and then it gets really narrow on the top. But on the website it says that it's 23 centimeters wide it's m17.5 centimeters high and that it's 11.5 centimeters deep although of course this is only the bottom part of this bag so i'm going to open it up and i'm going to share with you how it looks inside um, so you have two zips um, that you can put on either side if you want to and then the inside is just the red beautiful color and you have a back pocket right here so you can store basically I find the back pocket to be um, really unnecessary most of the times but um, yeah it's there if you want it so this is how the bag is set up you have this beautiful long leather strap that is coated canvas and you have these two extra little hooks where you can hook it on and um, this one is removable but it's not adjustable and then it also comes in this beautiful with this beautiful lock it's a shiny gold hardware um, which is really typical for Louis Vuitton and it has metal feet on the bottom so this is kind of the rundown of this bag obviously it's very very carefree so let's go to the pros and cons this bag is really carefree because of the canvas the canvas is indestructible you can scratch it nothing happens to it obviously it has some leather down here but it's still the uh, treated leather so I'm not too precious about the leather either so this is also really really sturdy for fall and winter time if it rains or snows a lot this bag is your perfect companion because you can't basically not ruin it and if you have something on it just wipe it clean and it's perfectly fine like everything comes off I have a lot of canvas pieces that I've had for years and years and years my oldest bag is I think over seven years old and it still looks amazing so Louis Vuitton canvas is indestructible so that is definitely the first pro of this con obviously I love the metal feet that you don't damage the bottom too much I love that you can remove the strap because I feel like it's a really cute look for the nighttime if you just hold it by the handle like that a couple of cons is that the strap is not adjustable so it sits quite low on the body i will insert some clips of me trying it on so you can definitely see how it sits on my body another point is that it is really weirdly on my body so it kind of sticks out you will see in the trend clips what i mean i will try and you can decide if that makes a difference because i've um told this problem before and a girl, a girl told me to not wear it over the left shoulder but wear it over the right shoulder so you will now see if that makes a difference or not um, I will see later on once I try it on but those are kind of the cons and yeah I bought this in 2021 so this year at the beginning of the year and I bought it for 1,100 euros and it's currently still 1,100 euros so it didn't have a price increase because I'm also going to talk about price increases and how much percent that was so yeah this is um, my first little baby the Alma BB this is the last like Louis Vuitton I bought a different handbag also after that one but it's uh, my first handbag purchase of this year I think and I'm quite in love with it all right let's get to the favorite bag of all time I think you guys love this bag so much it's my Yves Saint Laurent Lou Camera bag 
and it's in the bigger size it also comes in a smaller size i will insert a picture right here but this is the bigger size the smaller size has like a chain i think as a crossbody strap and this one has an all leather strap they've since remodeled this a little bit so there might be slight um, differences to if you uh, see that back on the website i know they fixed the tassel problem if you don't know my struggle with the tassel i will leave my camera bag like the separate video uh, where I review this back down below because uh, first of all it's my very best video I've ever filmed I think this has the most views out of all of my videos so um, yeah I'm quite happy about that and I'm talking about it more in depth but let's go to the general information so this is 23 centimeters long it's 16 centimeters high and six centimeters deep it's cask and leather and it has this beautiful chevron pattern it has brushed gold hardware as you can see and it's in the black color color obviously um let's go to the pros really quickly so um this tassel fortunately is a removable because i hit this tassel um yeah watch that other video i will link it up here then it's really really one pro that i wanted to point out with this bag is that it's so light even though it's fully leather it's so light so that's definitely a pro because i feel like if the bag is already heavy and you put a lot of stuff in there um definitely definitely you kind of struggle a little bit then it's up very very spacious i will open it up it has like a fiber material it has a back pocket but this one is pretty big so this one is actually useful it fits my phone so that's amazing so you always have it handy then it's uh the the sh shoulder strap is actually adjustable so you have your little um, holes right here i have it in the shortest setting so i feel like it's quite long i would have like to add it a, a couple more holes but i know that if you do that you don't have any what's the word um insurance on it it's not insurance i don't know the word right now but um you guys know what i mean so i wanted to talk about the cons of this bag also the con first con is the tassel the second con that i found is um it gotten a lot worse even though i stuffed this bag but it loses its shape so easily so when I open the back up you can see right away like how crooked this is at the top and it kind of bothers me so this is something that you guys if you want your bag structured and I feel like it's because this is so boxy it should have been structured in comparison to my Gucci which is kind of like a softer leather and this is more squishy this one like I don't mind it not being that structured but I feel like with this one it kind of should have been so yeah this is something that definitely kind of annoys me and also one con that I have that maybe is not a con for you maybe it's rather a pro for you is that the inside is black and I like a light interior so I can find my things more easily um, this one I bought in fall of 2019 and I bought it for 950 euros um, it's since climbed up to 1,100 euros, which is a 16% price increase in one and a half years. So that is just for your information. And then let's move on to my last camera style bag in the similar size. So this is 24 centimeters long. It's a 13 centimeters high and seven centimeters deep. So comparing all of them, they're like the what, Saint Laurent is 23 centimeters long. This the Alma 23 and a half and this one 24 the Alma is definitely the highest but as I said it gets more narrow so I'm guessing that the Issa Laurent will fit the most the Gucci will fit second and the Alma will fit least but we will see about that so this is in lambskin leather it also has the chevron pattern it had Antique gold hardware, I'm gonna talk about that really quickly afterwards. Or like aged gold hardware or whatever it is. And yeah, it's really squishy. I love the leather of it. It's a little bit like like a different kind of crinkly leather on the back here. And it has this GG emblem on there. And then you have these long tassels and you can just like zip it up. And the inside is a beautiful microfiber it's quite dirty in there because i've had this bag um it was my second designer handbag i've ever bought so yeah i love this one very very much um it has also an adjustable shoulder strap like that but it's not removable but this one is 
a little bit of a better height. It's also quite short, but I kind of like, I, I kind of like that one. I don't stuff this one um, because it holds its shape a lot better. So let's talk about some uh, pros really quickly. It's also really, really light. I cannot, like, I feel like they're the same. Maybe this one is slightly heavier because it has the metal right here as well. And this one is just a plain leather, but I feel like both are really light, uh, which is amazing. Um, this one is so durable, guys. I don't know, like I have worn this, I don't know, I think I'm, I probably have worn this 500 times and I'm not exaggerating and it still looks super nice in my opinion. I don't see any threading coming loose. I don't see any like a tarnishing. It, there's been a little bit of tarnishing here on the zip, uh, but the strap and everything like that um, is perfect. I feel like the shape is perfect. I don't have any scratches. I don't know how. Um, obviously the interior is kind of dirty, but yeah, that's inevitable. I feel like if you use your bags, it, it will get dirty a little bit. And it's not like stained or like gross, but it's just like used. So I don't mind it. And I feel like this lies really nicely on the body. I like this the most out of all of them to lay on my body because it's really flat and I feel like it looks good with my body. For reference, I'm 167 centimeters. So if that does anything and um, I'm, I wear a size medium, so I'm not like the skinniest, but I'm also not like, um, I have a little bit of volume on my belly area. So maybe that has something like, maybe that helps you with deciding what bag to go for, because I know I have a really small torso and I have longer legs. So that's just in comparison of how it sits on me. So maybe that gives you some reference of, of how it would sit on you. I will go through the cons. So this the cons of this bag is definitely that the hardware didn't, is not like it's shiny again. It was really aged uh, when I first got it and I really like that about it. Uh, but that also happened with my two Gucci belts that I own. So probably that's a Gucci hardware kind of problem. Other than that, I don't really have a con. I love this bag, like I, I can't fault it. Maybe that um, there's not more holes in there, but I could just easily fix that. But other than that, I find the color to be really perfect. This is the color nude or sometimes it's called rose. So uh, for reference, if you want to find that bag, I bought this in 2018 um, in the springtime, I think in April or something, and it was 980 euros. Since then it has climbed up to 1,250 euros. So that's a 28% price increase over the last three years. So that is just for your information. So uh, let's begin with what fits inside. And I think I'm going to start with the like the biggest, like what I think is uh, will fit the most, which is the Lou camera bag. And I'm just gonna put like random stuff in there. So you'll see if um, I fit everything that I would want to take. I don't need more than this, so I'm not gonna stuff it with like random stuff, but um, I just brought everything that I would probably take on a day out if I can fit it. Alrighty, so I have my Lou camera bag here and I'm gonna open it up. Um, it's totally empty as you can see. And the first thing that I definitely need is my phone. So I have the iPhone 12 Pro, I think it's called. So I'm going to pop that into the back pocket. And as I said, it fits into the back pocket, which is amazing. Then I also have a small little drink. This is an orangey nut, um, 250 milliliters. Um, you could also fit like a 330 milliliter bot, like a uh, can in there if you wanted to but i'm gonna fit that one just as a little drink and uh, that looks like that then i have my mini pochette with which is my catch all kind of i wanted to fill everything so because if you put it empty in there it's, it's not really doesn't give you any reference of what fits so this one is pretty cool so i have like like a charging cord i have um like hand cream i have hand sanitizers i have pens i have tampons that i have lipsticks, I have basically everything that I need, a little bit of makeup, so that is my makeup pouch. And I also have my wallet. This is my coach wallet that I've had for a long time now and that has served me really well. So this is like kind of a bigger style wallet. So I'm gonna open it up. Um, so you have card slots right here, some pla uh, place for change, some 
place for like cash and cards and things like that. So I'm gonna pop both of these in here. And I'm just gonna sit them like kind of randomly. I'm, I'm not doing this any strategic or any way. And then two more things that I definitely need is my car keys and my uh, Louis Vuitton clay. And then I have the six ring key holder by Louis Vuitton. And I put both of that in here. I have seven keys even in here, um, or six keys in my work tip. Um, so I'm gonna put that in here as well. And this is already really packed, I would say. I wouldn't necessarily pack more than that. I have um, a mask definitely that I need to put on top. And then you could also, things that I don't like to do, but you could also like put your sunglasses without a case on the top and that would sit up, uh, zip up, or I would, you can fit your sunglasses case. The problem now is, no, I wouldn't fit my sunglasses case. I would just fit my sunglasses. You could put like a soft case or something around it and that sits, zips up. As you can see, it's gotten quite heavy, but granted there is a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> There's probably like um, 750 grams of stuff in there. So yeah, this is all that fits in here. Um, let's open it up and show you. So it's really packed, but if you wanted to take a little bit more and obviously the bottle, you're gonna like drink empty. So you have more space in there as well. So that's gonna like work out. But um, I'm going to transfer everything that I just put in here into my uh, Gucci and I'll see if that fits. I'm going to do that in the time lapse. So yeah, um, hopefully it all fits in there. So sunglasses. All right, you guys. So I have managed to put everything in the Gucci Marmont except the drink. So the drink you either hold in your hand or buy somewhere around so you can fit a drink but you can fit everything else um so this is the gucci marmon totally packed and like i said i packed everything so i packed the sunglasses i packed the wallet i packed the mask i packed the makeup pouch something um that i wanted to tell you guys really quickly the phone does not fit in this back pocket so that's something that some people maybe wouldn't like but um yeah, I just wanted to tell you that that doesn't fit, but um, these two items fit as well. So I feel like it packs a bunch. So um, definitely my um, first like initial reaction to what fits in the bags was definitely right. And I feel like I will probably not uh, be able to get everything that I had in the Gucci Marmont into this one, but we will see. All right, I set this baby off. This is super heavy and as you can see, it kind of is crooked on the top of it. I'm not sure if I would take it like that, but everything that I put into the Issa Laurent fit except my sunnies, which isn't bad, I feel like, because I always have the sunnies in my head anyway, but I managed to fit the bottle in there. So I'm pretty sure then that the Gucci Marmont fits the least and the Yves Saint Lou fits the most and this one is right in between. I guess it depends on what you put in here as well. So um, as you guys can see, it's really, really packed. I have my mask, I have my phone, I have my key clay, I have my wallet, I have my little sacred key holder, I have the mini pochette and I have the water bottle. So this is everything that I managed to fit in here. Tell me down below what you think is the best purchase. I feel like for me, um, what I use the most, probably because I had it the longest and it also really much depends on the color, but I definitely use my Gucci Marmont the most and I use my Alma BB the least just because I've had this one, yeah, the shortest and this one the longest, but also I really love this color. And this one to me is more of a seasonal bag. This one I wear all year round and I also wear this one all year round, but this one to me is more of a fall and winter bag. 
and um, yeah I got it at the end of winter so obviously it didn't have much time to shine but I also find the shape of this kind of um, a little more difficult to rummage around in in the uh, like in the Gucci and the Yves Saint Laurent I feel like because of the shape and because you can open it so widely I feel like it's a lot easier to find your things even though you packed it really full with the Alma BB you would have to take out a couple of things in order to reach the things at the bottom which I find really annoying granted I don't take all of these things with me ever I I don't take a lot of stuff with me I usually only take my wallet my keys and my phone and then like a mask or something else and yeah I will not tend to use that much as I just showed you but I wanted to share with you of what you could fit if you needed to so yeah I hope you really liked my review if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I will see you for my next video bye guys